I knew I was gonna get asked this. <laughs> I guess I should sit down and actually count them. If I would have just throw out a number, like 200. Yeah, my first tattoo ever was on my arm. I was 18 years old, Skate and Destroy. It's a Thrasher saying. I think it's sick that I got that for my first one because that is like the classic like skate saying. I was at this skate contest in Tampa called Tampa Pro. The tattoo artists there were like working out of the back in like this parking lot. And I think they were just doing a few different things you could pick from, that being one of them. And my buddy Chase actually pressured me into getting it. I was like, oh, no, I don't know if I'm ready for all that. I would like just turned 18. I didn't even think I wanted tattoo at the time. Ended up getting it. That's where it all started. Look at me now. My most recent tattoo was two days ago. It might be the stupidest tattoo I've ever gotten. It is a ferret on a skateboard. My friend, this girl Michelle, is obsessed with ferrets. Like every time I would see her, she'd be like, when are you getting your ferret? When you got all these tattoos, you're not gonna get a ferret tattoo? And then I, my buddy Cody was in town um, tattooing, wasn't even in the mood to think about, try to figure out what I wanted. So I was like, wow, I guess I'm literally gonna get this ferret tattoo and just be a good friend. So I got a ferret on a skateboard and he actually came out pretty tight. This is my fried leg. I dedicated this leg to get random stuff on. Got a Jason mask, we got a pineapple. We got this Grim Reaper up here. And we got a lion skull. We got a waffle tattoo recently too. I love waffles, so what can I say? Waffles are fire. People are gonna think I'm so stupid. No regrets. <laughs> I got some tattoos for like exes even and stuff, but I don't really even regret those. I mean, I feel like I have so many tattoos and like probably 90% of my body is covered at this point. So it's not like I look at one tattoo. I'm like, oh, like I can't believe I got that. I'm so bummed. I'm just like, I'm really all over the place when it comes to deciding what tattoos I want or get. I used to be more picky about what, what I wanted because obviously it's the earlier stages and you got a lot more a lot more space on you so you want to get stuff that you're really hyped on and looks good in certain places. But I'm, I'm really thought out about most of my tattoos unlike the ferret one. Most of the stuff doesn't mean something to me. I more so just get stuff that I see and that I'm hyped on and that I think fits my vibe well. I've always mainly been a fan of black and gray tattoos. My type of skin color, I think black and gray looks the best. The only color I have on myself is some green on this eye. It's actually one of my friend's eyes. And then I have some green on this chick on my hand. I definitely have some favorites. On my knee, I got this like half butterfly, half skull. I really like the lion on my, on my stomach right here because the lion has always kind of been my animal. I had dreads growing up. I didn't cut my hair literally until I was 16. I had these long ass dreads and that was like kind of my main. And that was what I was known as, as a kid was just this little kid that shredded and with the long dreads. That's what the lion represents. Hold a lot of pride in that one. My buddy Daniel did my hand tattoos and he absolutely killed it. I really like the chick right here on my left hand. Don't actually know who it is. When I get like girls on me or something like that, I don't really like to pick who it is. I just let the tattoo artist give me some options and I'll just pick one. This one too came out sick. I love wolves as well. I think I did my neck when I was like 22 years old. This guy Thomas Hooper did it. He is a legendary tattoo artist. I sat down and designed this one with him. Kind of made it all flow together. On this side we have a triangle with an eye in it. Kind of has that Illuminati vibe to it. And then on this side we got an eagle. He killed it. You know it was it was three days around like five or six hours each day. That was probably the most painful part of my body to get tattooed. They have to like stretch your skin like all weird and they're pulling your neck in weird ways. You have to breathe all crazy when it's on your Adam's apple right here. Oh my God, it was bad. I'm not gonna sit here on camera and say that I'm never gonna get my face tattooed because I could end up getting some stuff one day. Um, if I did get anything on my face, I would make sure it's like small and just something somewhere. And yeah, sorry mom, if you're watching this. I mean, my mom's just like the most chill person in general. She never really gave me too hard, hard of a time about it. I feel like it got to a point where she just kind of gave up on trying to tell me I should chill and not tattoo my whole body. I only started my back like a year ago. 
My buddy Karai did it, and he's a really good tattoo artist. He works out of Bang Bang in New York. The whole thing is symmetrical. There's like two things on each side kind of going down the back, most of it, and then some things in the middle. And then on my ass, we have like two like geometric designs on each side that kind of match with the back of my like shoulder blades. So much stuff, dude, I can go on and on. My buddy Justin did most of these small random tattoos. He's a really good like detailed artist. We got a dinosaur, a raptor, and this little guy's on a skateboard pulling him. Some more darkness over here. We got death is certain, some butterflies. This just goes to show like how random my tattoos are. It'll go from these cute little butterflies to a tombstone that says, see you soon. But I don't care about getting like random sketchy stuff about death and whatnot, cause I'm not afraid to die, you know, you can't be afraid to die doing the stuff that I do, so you just gotta say it and go for it. I will stop getting tattoos when I have no more room. I really don't got much room left, but I'm stoked with what I got. It was all worth it. Hundreds and hundreds and hours of, of pain. A little pain is good sometimes.